Hey everybody, uh, I am in the card room just uh, trying to get something accomplished before I go to bed. I'm exhausted. It's just been, it's just a long week, long week. Uh, go Mean Green. Uh, yeah, so, and I just really want to just go to bed. <laughs> but I don't know about you guys, if I don't accomplish something other than just working all day, I feel like I really didn't get anything done like it's a wasted day like yeah I, I worked 12 hours or whatever but I didn't get anything if I don't get any housework done or hobby stuff done I really feel like I lost a day part of the reason why I have a hard time sleeping in uh, but man I could go to bed right now but I really wanted to finish up sorting my 24 2024 series one um just to see what holes I still have. It looks like, like I'm going to have a few. I'm kind of mad at myself and actually kind of more mad at Cards by Mark. At the, when these came out, I'm like, you know, I don't even think I'm going to try to build the set because I haven't finished 2023 and I, I get frustrated because there's so many inserts. I'm like, I can't, I, can't I can't finish these sets. There's just too, too many cards. And uh, Mark's like, whatever, Justin, you're going to try to finish it. I'm like, no, I'm not even going to try to build it this year. I still need to focus on building 2023. And here I am sorting my 2024s uh, to see how far away I am. But I did get some cool mail, and so I wanted to share it with you real quick. Uh, shout out to Old Man Game, who hooked me up with some really cool TTMs. This one is um, uh, Harry Gant, which is pretty cool because I have Harry. Uh, I really like that. <laughs> that pitcher, he is having a good day. That was a good day for Harry. Uh, fun that he got put on a card and he can look at it forever, but uh, he had a good day there. Uh, but it's really fun that he clearly autographed there. Uh, I have several of his autographs, but I don't have it on this card, so that's really cool. Um, we also have this is Mark Sappington. I don't remember Mark. Uh, number to 99, really cool uh, die cut right there. And this one is Joseph Musgrove. Joe Musgrove, I do remember Joe. Pretty cool right there. Uh, old Man Game, I don't, I don't know where you came across these TTMs. I think you said you might have come across them in your uh, Canadian adventures. Um, but thank you so much for hooking me up with that. I really appreciate it. Um, I also got a cool card from RJ today. <clears throat> I've talked about RJ before, and he does his, uh, his baseball trivia. And uh, you'll, if you uh, try to do his baseball trivia, um, he'll put you on a wheel. And on Sunday, you might win. And I happen to win this really cool Gunnar Henderson on the purple. Very cool. Thank you, RJ. It's very nice of you. And then today, uh, Drew over at Clean Cheap Shots sent me this. And I'm not 100% sure what's in there. I thought I had scissors. Oh, I do. I do. So my wife is in the other room watching a rom-com and uh, <laughs> brought my kid along. So they're they're uh, watching a rom-com in the other room. And I'm like, better you than me, bro. <laughs> and so as soon as I'm done making this video, I'm in the middle of re-watching uh, Band of Brothers for the hundredth time. It's absolutely wonderful. I absolutely love it. Uh, Hank, uh, it's a Spielberg Hanks production, if I remember right. I think both of them were in on it. Um, wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. World War II, uh, it's, it's a series, it's not a movie. Uh, but when it comes, I, I really enjoy the war movies. Um, I, it sounds weird to say that because nobody enjoys war, but I really, I, I find the history of it fascinating and I, and I just, I enjoy them. Um, although they're very emotional, um, Whatever. I don't. I don't want to sound like I'm heartless. Or whatever. To say, hey, I love war movies, but I kind of do. But you know, I, I like westerns too. So I don't know. Out of all the wonderful productions about World War Two and World War One, um, it's at the top of my list. I don't think you can beat it. It's absolutely wonderful. So um, if you haven't seen it, you are truly missing out. Uh, right now, it's on Netflix. It was an HBO. Uh, HBO, HBO run for a while. Um, I like it so much. I have it on DVD twice. I have two of them on DVD. Uh, it's just, just so good. So, so good. Uh, anyway, so this is from uh, Drew. And he said he, he uh, was going to send me some stuff maybe for some um, 
some set building. All right, all right. Interesting. Okay, so we have uh, the 90 Donruss. Very cool. Still working on that set. Um, feel like I'm getting close. Getting close to that set. Oh, yay. Uh, awesome. I got a sticker. Actually, I did not even know you had a sticker. How fun is that? A sticker for the sticker board. Very excited. But I will add that this weekend when I do my TTM wrap up. And there's something going on in here. Got to be gentle, got to be careful. It's Friday, by the way. Happy Friday, everybody. I'm not going to get this out today, but uh, I, I probably this weekend I'll get this out this weekend. I don't know that we have any big plans. Uh, school's coming to an end. Uh, I haven't made any big summer plans yet, although I am going to go to Chicago. Started nailing down some of the travel plans there. Um, very excited. Hopefully, a uh, hookup with Vince, the sports card ripping teacher at the the Cubs game. Maybe talk him into going for a an adult beverage after the game. That would be fun. It just depends on what he's got going on. I haven't talked to him at all about it. Ah, I'm afraid of ripping stuff. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Classic. <laughs> That's funny. He says he literally has 22 of these cards. I think uh, I think I am probably good on this one offhand. What I do is I get I get nine of all, right, in, in a page. Um, and then I start getting particular about which ones I have because I want to get the best nine I can possibly get. Um, I actually don't have any graded Madden Lees now that I'm thinking about it. Uh, maybe Santa Claus will bring me one for Christmas. San I, I know where Santa shops, so that might be that might be something. So look at the rack pack. Ooh. Ooh. How cool is it? Okay, so we have Steve, Lonnie, and Doc, but... It's the back that's super interesting. On the back, we have uh, Vern Ruley. I don't remember. There's Mike Woodard and and the great Don Mattingly. I can promise you that if I had picked this up in the 80s, it would not exist in this form. That's really cool. I'm not opening it. I'm not going to. That's because it's too cool. It's too cool just like this. I'm working on this set, but it's too cool to open. I love it. Thank you so much. That is really fun. Um, if you haven't stopped by and, and say hey to Drew, uh, you should. He's doing, um, he does these really cool player um, shout outs where he talks about a bunch of some old ball players and he has the cards to go along with them. And he talks about the card, but he's really talking about uh, the history of the ball players. And it's really interesting to hear uh, some of the, some of the stuff that they've gone through. Um, especially during the, the 50s and, and these, these, these gentlemen who were, who were in the war, I was just talking about World War II, um, returning and, and playing ball and uh, really, some really, really interesting stories there. Um, Drew also did uh, a wonderful, I know I've said it many, many times, a wonderful interview um, with uh, Ed Watt, and it, I loved it. I loved it. I watched it several times over. I just... I love the game of baseball and hearing old ball players uh, sit and just just chat like it's like it's nothing to them. Uh, it's just so interesting to me because it's, it's 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 a part of the history of the game, but it's also part of the history of America. And it's to me, it's interesting to hear about life, life during those times. Um, it's just fun. Uh, you know, it might be because I grew up it with my grandmother in the house. And so I, I got lots of old stories, like old stories about New York and how they they had an ice box that they would stick outside the refrigerator like a, a cubby. And that was like their freezer during the winter times. And, uh, you know, everybody, she called them, um, 
she had a the shotgun house i think that's what they called it where everything was off this all the rooms were off this main main hallway because that's where the fireplace was and it would heat that way so all the rooms were off this like this uh this long path and i don't know just funny stories about uh about dealing with all the different all the the different unique personalities in the different boroughs and she had very strong opinions about some of them uh as a uh as a as a as a girl who grew up kind of hard in brooklyn uh she was she was quite the character um miss her actually went to see her today uh left Cape brought her some flowers uh i miss her so um thank you so much that was really fun and uh, I'll stop rambling, but I hope everybody has a wonderful Friday. I'm going to finish these uh, 24s, get them logged. And uh, if you're missing anything, let me know. Uh, I don't know what all I'll, I'll have duplicates of just yet, but uh, feel free to reach out to me. And that's it. I'll talk to you all later. Bye, y'all.